guys we just arrived in dixie springs for a blue tape inspection slash final walkthrough for our clients i'm hiding inside my truck because it's a little bit windy outside and i want to make sure that i capture this a little bit with good audio but uh, i'm about to flip the camera around and show you guys this incredible home that we just finished for our wonderful clients um, this home has some really unique design touches and our clients are here as well as Michonne and uh, one of the representatives for American Heritage Homes just doing a final uh, blue tape inspection. So let's go check it out. So this property has a two car plus a huge oversized RV garage. There's the extra entrance for the casita, so this section of the house can be accessed independently without having to have access to the front door. Check out this beautiful red door. As we enter this home, there is a utility closet to the left which also terminates all of the speaker connections and the HDMI cables and low voltage that runs to the mental above the fireplace. There's a really nice touch that allows you to utilize those in-ceiling speakers for the home theater application and everything is nice and neat and out of the way. And this is a preliminary state of this home. It's mostly finished. But you may see some blue tape. Um, Sean has gone through and blue taped some of the minor paint defects, which is pretty normal for a new construction because, you know, as, as uh, the subs are finishing things up, sometimes there's a little bit of uh, imperfections here and there, which get finished at this step right here. So to the right from the main entry, we have an office bedroom. It is a bedroom that has a beautiful large window and a full size closet. It is a walk-in closet. Let's check out the living room. Smart keypads right above outlets to control the fan. It's a beautiful oversized fan. Our clients did a great job on selecting all the finishes and lighting fixtures for this property. This kitchen looks great with two-tone um, paint scheme with the blue cabinets and white and grays. Check out these light fixtures. There's not an overwhelming amount of blue tape. I feel like these subs did pretty well. Wall oven with a microwave built in, cafe series appliances. Pantry with a wine cooler. I think that's a beautiful touch. It's a good sized pantry. The center island is also a great touch. And I really like the way these colors come together. So probably one of the more exciting parts for me is the garage. Check out this laundry room as well. It is a really large laundry room that has the hookups for an electrical washer and dryer. You could also use gas. And there is an additional water line for a refrigerator that will fit perfectly right there. That is ordered, but not quite here yet. Let's check out the garage. There's some overhead shelving right here. And it is a rather spacious garage that has 
a two car bay plus an RV bay. And I believe this opening is 14 wide by 17 tall. I could be off on the height. <clears throat> Give you guys another view of this garage. The garage is fully finished with the epoxy floor. And it is rather spacious. One thing that's unique about this builder is they typically provide you with a water connection, a clean out, and a 50 amp service. So this could be a boondocking stop for uh, either a trailer or an RV. It could be fully sufficient. It could run off of your hookups here. And one nice touch that our clients also did here is they installed a sink and a mini split um, AC unit. So it is a temperature regulated environment. So you could keep the temperatures here pretty low. If you wish to use this as a shop, or if you're working in your RV and you just don't want to be in here in 100 degree weather. A water heater and plumbing for the water softener. Water softener is coming and should be installed within the next couple days. Let me show you guys. Hopefully you get the dimension for the magnitude of this RV garage. Turned out awesome. Some beautiful overhead lighting. A couple of windows. There are six windows on this side and a door that gives you access to the exterior of the property. Let's head back inside and check out the rest of the bedrooms. Hey. Oh, Go sorry, ahead. right behind you. Yes, sir. There's a little, little white speckling on this wall, so there's some blue tape. How's it going? You still got blue tape left on that roll? Oh, yeah. We're still good on blue tape. Normally these rolls get exhausted. This bedroom is also uh, pretty spacious, has a window that opens to the front of the property and a walk-in closet. As we go down this hallway, there is a bathroom right here. There's another bathroom that backs up to it. But what's important to note about this is once you lock this door, that locks away your casita. Remember the, the door that I showed to you guys from the exterior of the property. So this is a casita, which could be used as a mother-in-law suite or completely independent uh, living quarters. So it has a full bath with beautiful white finishes and a white manufactured stone countertop with a recessed sink that is flush to the surface. I absolutely love all this hardware. And all of the cabinets in this home are soft close, of course. Look at this walk-in shower. It's tiled almost all the way to the ceiling. And again, uh, beautiful black finishes on all of the hardware in this home. Absolutely love that. So this is the rest of the casita. There is a built-in with a below counter microwave and a mini fridge. So this space can provide self-sufficient living quarters. And this is the door that I was telling you guys about from the outside. So this, proper, this part of the property can be accessed independently without having to have access to the main living quarters. It also has a small walk-in closet and a beautiful large window that opens up to the front of the property. So as we exit this casita, there is a hallway bath, guest bath. It is a full-size bath. Similar choice of hardware, white countertops, beautiful trim around this mirror, nice light fixtures with a modern square bathtub. Looks great. As we exit the guest bath, we enter the master bedroom. 
master bedroom is very spacious. It has three windows that open to the backyard. It has kind of a unique uh, light fixture. I don't know if you can see it from here while it's spinning. All the controls are right here on the wall. There's a little bit of blue tape as things are getting finished up. We really want to make sure that everything is finished perfect. This is a really good size bedroom. And notice there's absolutely no carpet on this property. I absolutely love that as well. It's finished with a combination of LVP flooring and tile. So the master bathroom is a full panel of switches. Looks like we're testing the jetted tub on its own pedestal. So there's a, a jetted tub and a walk-in shower. It's a beautiful window that lets in lots of natural light with uh, black hardware throughout, including the trim around the mirror that kind of matches everything. I wonder if this is a blue tape item. Oh, no, somebody was mopping it or wiping it with a rag and it got caught in that corner. So walk-in shower with two shower heads. There is a rainfall shower head up above, three windows that let in some natural light. Uh, nice little nook for uh, shampoo bottles and two individual controls for the overhead and the wall uh, shower head. That's beautiful. Cabinets with two sinks, a dedicated water closet and a large master closet. Looks like there's a little bit of uh, finishing that's still left on those shelves. Nice uh, nook for whatever you may want to put there. And I'll give you guys another look at this space so you can kind of get the idea of the dimension. Head back out to the living room. There's a beautiful fireplace here with the mental that has all of the wired connections. And it's a bit too windy for me to go outside to maintain uh, the audio, but uh, there's future plans for the pool to go into this backyard as well as some desert landscaping. I can't wait to see how that turns out. This concludes our tour. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Thanks.